Hey guys, it is Mario Minecraft 11 here, and ooh, GameCube game? No, it's a Game Boy game. Super Mario Land for the Nintendo Game Boy. I am doing this game, and here we go. So this is going to be my let's play of this game. Um, I love this game. It's one of my favorites. Actually, I like Mario Land 2 a lot better, but yeah, this one comes close second. Um, so this Mario Land series is actually kind of cool because it actually goes into the Wario Land series. Um, so you got your first two games, this game in Mario Land 2, and then Super Mario Land 3 is actually Wario Land 1. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, here's a star man, uh, makes you invincible. I did not explain anything. I feel terrible. I'll explain it in the next level. Um, yeah. Okay, so basically, at the end of each level, uh, there are sort of two ways you can get out of the level. The bottom way doesn't do anything, but if you go to the top way, you'll get a bonus game, so that's nice. Okay, I'll explain stuff in the next level. I'm sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> Alright, so this bonus game, basically, you gotta sort of line... So the, the ladder is gonna go somewhere, and Mario is gonna go somewhere, so let's see. Aw, oh, man. Wow. How lucky can you get? Uh, you can either get one life, two lives, three lives, or a flower, but since I already had a flower, I didn't need it. So basically, the controls are, uh, if you're using a Game Boy, then arrow keys to move left and right, uh, A to jump, B to hold down B to run, uh, and if you get the and if you get the mushroom, it adds an extra life, or I mean, no, it adds like an extra bar to your health. And if you get, and then once you get the mushroom, then you can get the Super Ball, which is the flower. Um, and that's pretty helpful, uh, what that does, you can press B to shoot fireballs, or super balls, I'd say, uh, but they're not very good, they're not like the fire flower in normal Mario games, uh, they go like weird directions and stuff, so, yeah. Anyway, here are coins, if you get a hundred, then you get a one-up, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, now we're into 1989 Mario games. Sadly, this is the only one made in 1989. Um, so, my first two, Mario 1 and 2, I'm doing land, and then after this I'm doing 3. These are donut blocks, if you step on them, then they fall. Okay, these bonus areas are going to be harder to get to, so, yeah. So, once I get to Mario Land 2, I'm going to start timing my videos for 15 minutes each. I was going to do it for this episode, but I forgot to start the timer. In fact, I forgot to bring my phone in the room. I should have done that. Yeah, I forgot to put my recording song in my room, too. <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, you can press down to duck. Oh gosh, watch out for the falling ceiling. And I love this song. This is like the best song in Smash Brothers Brawl. Yeah, the pink tiles fall down on you. So yeah, be careful. Anyway, so basically, the story of this game. Um, I gotta be careful here. Um, basically the story is... Mario, I guess, has run away from the Mushroom Kingdom, and, uh, it's like a Mario game. Basically, his new girlfriend, Daisy, was captured by Tatonga, the evil alien. Uh, so yeah, that's the objective of this game. Speaking of, like, Mario, this is like a Mario boss fight. <laughs> just like a Bowser fight. Alright. Oh, and also I should mention that this is the very first, very first, ladies and gentlemen, Mario game, Mario handheld game. 
Oh, and by the way, I will always remember to have the screen like this. I hate it when people use the screen like this. It bugs me. It irritates me. I always like to have it like this, under any circumstances. That just bugs me to death. Anyway. Aw, oh, that's fine. At least we get a life. Doing surprisingly well. Yeah, this is one of the Mario games I'm better at. Yeah, I'm a lot better at this game than a lot of Mario games. And that goes for, like, the entire Mario Land series. Uh. So, how is everyone's summer going? This might be uploaded in July, even though I'm doing this in June. Um, but, how's everyone's summer doing? Mine's doing good. I actually just got back from a trip today. From uh, Santa Barbara in California. We didn't really do anything, we just, you know... Went through, uh, hotels. Or, we went to a few hotels. Uh, we went to, like, uh, Four Seasons, and then we went to Riverside, which is, like, one of the oldest hotels yet. Eh, I thought it was okay. <clears throat> anyway, um, our summer's doing great. How's your summer doing? I hope great. Um, so in this game, this will literally... As I was saying earlier, I forgot to set the timer for this episode. So this LP will actually only be two parts, because this is, quite frankly, the shortest Mario game out there. Not lying. This literally only has four worlds and 12 levels. Not kidding you. Why would I lie to you guys, though? Oh, crap. Oh! I think... Oh, yeah, by the way, hearts... The, the hearts are one ups. Oh, I almost died there. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't died yet. I've never been in this game where I, uh, with, with de deathless. I've never been in this game deathless. So maybe I will, maybe I won't. Who knows? Uh, well, we're at world two, which is my favorite world. Oh, look at that, baby. Nice. Ten lives. Yeah, you do get a lot of lives. If you don't lose lives in this game, you will get a lot of lives. Kind of like in every Mario game. Every Mario game that's new, at least. This game... Yeah, I wouldn't... I mean, I mean, uh, like, 80s Mario games. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't... At least for me, at least. You can get, like, probably, like, ten lives in the original Mario Brothers when you... Oh, when you only start out with three. Alright, well, that was my first death. Now, the weird thing about this game is that checkpoints are weirdly scattered throughout the level. There's, like, five checkpoints around the level. Like, I probably just passed one right there. I guess they expect you to die along this game? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm playing this on the... Oh, God. I'm playing this on the GameCube, so... Sorry if the colors are really weird, but... Yeah, what can I do? Well, I, I mean, I can turn it black and white, but... But, you know, what's the fun of that? I, I don't really mind the colors. I would never really mind the colors. These games kind of have bad colors. I know you can change the colors, but I just really like the default ones. I mean, I think these colors are okay, but... <clears throat> I mean, they're obviously not the best, but they're fine. They're alright. Anyway, let's get... Oh, flowers. Flowers good. Sometimes I can't tell if I'm Little Mario or Big Mario. Anyway, this this level is my favorite level in the game. Uh, the Marine Pop level. This level, basically, you're underwater. But instead of underwater levels in Mario games being the worst levels alive in any video game, this is a pretty fun level. Um... You can just press A or B to shoot these, uh, little missiles, or I don't know what you call these things. Oh man. Oh, well, I died once. Let's see if we can keep that up. Uh, this level is actually a little bit tricky. It's still my favorite. Oh, there I go. Okay. I don't know how long the video's been anyway, but, yeah. I actually honestly did not expect, expect to do this well. Or this well. Oh god. I, I was honestly not expecting it to do this this well. I, 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 I mean, I'm only up to two deaths, and we're ha almost halfway done with the game. So, you know, doing pretty good. 
I'm literally, I haven't even started my Mario 2 LP as of this day. Like, I just decided to take my Dazzle out of my Wii, because my Wii and my GameCube are actually different rooms. So I decided to take it, oh, off the Wii, oh, wow, out of all things, that could have hit me right there. Oh, by the way, power-ups only give you health underwater, so, and this is the only, oh, god, this is the only underwater level, but there is a level like this in the future, so. Oh, come on. Okay, I gotta stop being stupid. Alright. Almost up to 100 coins, which is pretty good. It'll give us a life. I kind of wish... I don't know what game has it. Uh, I, I feel like it's Galaxy. Or Mario 64. Where if you get 50... Ah, if you get 50 lives, then you get a 1-up. Or 50 coins, then you get a 1-up. I like, I like that. Because, like, it takes years to get 100 coins. Especially in the old games. Old, I mean, like, 80s. You know. Ugh. This part makes me sick. Oh my gosh, I could have just like ducked under all the fish and then but then that guy got me. Okay, let's just let's just go to killing everything mode. Yes. But the bad thing about the fish is that they just go behind you. That's the thing I don't like about them. Then Oh god. Okay, at least I got through that section. That's like the, a pretty difficult section. I'm not gonna lie, that section's kinda hard. I mean, I only died like four times. I jinxed myself. And you got these coins spelling out Mario, and I got a one up, which is good. Woohoo! But yeah, but of course, I jinxed myself. Which is very sad. But no matter, we are not at the boss yet, we are almost at the boss. Here's the boss right here. Oh, you gotta do shoot. Uh, actually, there is a way to skip this boss. If you go under him and break the blocks, then you can just push that switch and switch and it'll kill him. I don't like it how it did to the lion. Yeah, you can just do this, ignore him, and then just press that switch. Anyway, that'll be it for the first episode, and I'll see you guys next time for the last episode of this very short game. Wait, let's watch this. Yeah, I forgot to mention, these are actually kind of funny scenes. Um, thank you, Mario. Oh, Daisy. And she turns into an enemy. It's kind of like what they did to Bowser, but... Like, you know, with enemies and stuff in the first game. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you next time. Peace! I mean, I mean, bye.